In a thrilling twist that sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency landscape, Terra Classic and Terra Prices experienced an unexpected freefall, plummeting 10% in a matter of hours. As the sun set on the once soaring prices, traders and investors were left grappling for answers in a sea of uncertainty. The market, known for its volatile nature, had rarely witnessed such a rapid and synchronized drop in two closely related tokens. Speculations ran wild as whispers of regulatory hurdles, technological glitches, and market manipulations swirled through digital forums, adding to the enigma shrouding this sudden price plunge. As the dust settles, the crypto community holds its breath, eagerly awaiting the unraveling of this intricate tale behind the staggering descent of Lunsi and Luna. Welcome to Crypto Millionaire, your source for the latest content on crypto. Make sure to watch the entire video and hit the like button if you're interested in more insightful content. Disclaimer, subscribe to my Telegram channel. There I post shocking crypto news daily. Terra Classic and Terra prices fell more than 10% in the last 24 hours. The Terra Luna Classic community believes that the sell-off happened in response to the community rejecting prominent member Lunk Dao's proposal to lead the chain and influencer Classy Crypto selling his validator to Lunk Dao. While it will impact the community's sentiment, these are not the exact reasons for a sell-off. Crypto exchange Binance is announcing shutdown of its crypto payment service amid plans to refocus on core products caused a sudden sell-off in the broader crypto market. Last week, the Terra Luna Classic community voted to reject a poll to make Lunk Dao a leader of the chain and choose governance. After Lunk and Luna prices fell 10%, Lunk Dao said whales are responding to community disobedience of him by dumping prices. Classy Crypto, who sold his Classy's Sphere validator to Lunk Dao for $10k, cleared the air that he didn't dump his entire Lunti holding. However, he believes that Lunk Dao is selling lunch tokens. Meanwhile, the community members committed to the chain is buying Lunk tokens from the dip. Stablechen and Lunk Dao are trying to take control of Terra Luna Classic, and the community is fighting against it. However, sell-off by whales is a big concern for the lunch community. Luwank Price currently trades at $0.000069, down 10% in the past 24 hours. The 24-hour low and high are $0.000646 and $0.000778, respectively. However, the trading volume has increased by 150% in the past 24 hours, USTC price also fell 8% in the past 24 hours, with the price currently trading at $0.014. The USTC repeg narrative is slowly fading amid uncertainty. Meanwhile, Terra price dropped more than 10% in 24 HRs, with the price currently trading at 49 cents. However, trading volume increased by 70% in 24 hours. What do you think of it? Will the price grow up or that's the end for Terra Luna Classic? Don't forget to subscribe. Although there have been recent attempts to align Terra Classic, the rebranded native cryptocurrency of the disgraced Terra ecosystem, with other crypto projects and blockchains, the total value locked on its network is continuously declining. In fact, Terra Classic has recently dropped to the lowest TVL levels since its launch, amounting to only around $2.11 million in staking value at press time, according to the most recent data retrieved by Finbold from the decentralized finance analytics platform Defi Lama on August 9th. By comparison, the TVL of the underlying blockchain in May 2022 amounted to a whopping $20.49 billion, after which it plummeted dramatically with the catastrophic collapse of Luna and Terra USD and failure to keep up with the ensuing mass withdrawals. This year alone, its staking value has declined 63.87%. Finbold reported in July on Terra Classic core developer group Joint L1 Task Force sharing plans to shift focus on reducing the circulating supply of Lunsi and stablecoin Terra Classic through the restoration of the Lunsi burning by validators. Around the same time, Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, announced it would support the Terra network upgrade, and its CEO Chang Peng Zhao stated that his crypto trading platform had poured $3 million into Terra in 2018 
and has left its Liu NC holdings untouched since then. In late June, an anonymous group of blockchain developers, known as the Six Samurai, released a proposal for a true revival of the Terra ecosystem and helped push this chain where it deserves to go. But these efforts, along with the above updates, have failed to prevent the collapse of its staking values. Let's talk about Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency in the world. Bitcoin could affect the price of Terra Luna Classic, so we have to know everything. In a bold projection that has sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency world, Tom Lee, the renowned financial analyst and co-founder of Fundstrat, has unleashed his prediction that the price of Bitcoin could surge past an astounding $150,000. Lee's forecast hinges on the outcome of imminent U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filings for exchange-traded funds, a potential catalyst that could propel Bitcoin to unprecedented heights. As the crypto market holds its collective breath, Lee's words carry substantial weight, given his history of accurate insights into the market's dynamics. With Bitcoin's recent price movements hinting at a sideways trend, the prospect of regulatory approvals and the forthcoming halving event in 2024 add layers of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. American investor and financial analyst Tom Lee expects Bitcoin price to skyrocket in the coming future if things go as expected with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filings for exchange-traded funds. The Fundstrat analyst's comment comes at a time when the top cryptocurrency continues to maintain almost sideways pattern from the last week of June 2023. Starting from March 2023, the S&P 500 index, which is most closely correlated with Bitcoin among all major U.S. stock indices, is on a steady upward trajectory in line with BTC price. Also, the traders have been largely resilient in terms of confidence in investing in the crypto market in the same period, during which the highlight was the mass Bitcoin ETF filings from several top financial companies. Speaking to CNBC on August 16, 2023, Tom Lee said BTC's clearing price would be above $150,000 if things go as anticipated around the ETF filings. However, if in case the ETF does not get approved in the United States, it could still go up thanks to the Bitcoin halving event expected in the first half of 2024, he explained. In that case, the halving alone could propel the BTC price, but not above the $1,000,000 mark, Lee predicted. Meanwhile, Michael Saylor founded MicroStrategy, which is the largest institutional Bitcoin investor in the world, continues to believe in the potential of the top cryptocurrency. Earlier, CoinGate reported that the company held as many as 152800 BTC as of July 31, 2023, with potential for more purchasing in the upcoming quarters. That's not the end. Don't forget to subscribe. Binance is the biggest crypto exchange in the world, with the highest trading volume for Bitcoin, the leading cryptocurrency. The company confirmed the Bitcoin Lightning Network implementation on June 20th, but after two months, Binance's activities regarding Bitcoin's second layer are still far away from its competitors. The Lightning Network is a Layer 2 solution for scaling Bitcoin transactions, in which two peers open a bilateral channel by depositing BTC in a joint wallet that can be later redeemed to the Bitcoin's first layer, with both users' balances updated according to all the transactions they did using this channel, that were confirmed faster and with less network fees. Notably, Binance's first Lightning Network channel was opened 62 days ago, according to data retrieved by Finbold from Amboss Space on August 16th. But the most recent channel, out of six channels, already existed for 30 days, showing that no new LN channels have been created ever since. The total capacity available for the Binance node of 34 BTC is also the same since, at least, July 24th. The capacity measures the amount of Bitcoin that has been deposited to each of their six channels, available to be used during users' deposits and withdrawals. Something similar can be seen in the second crypto exchange on Lightning Network usage, Kraken. Having one single node with more than 324 BTC capacity among 1,509 channels with the youngest channel created two hours ago, from press time. Binance is the leading exchange by Bitcoin volume in the market, 
registering a sum of over $837 million exchanged in both BTC USDT and BTC 2SD pairs in the last 24 hours. Kraken has less than $40 million, and Bitfinex, with less than $25 million in the same period for both BTC USD pairs. All things considered, even if Binance has been using Bitcoin's second layer, data suggests that its usage is at lower levels than expected by Lightning Network enthusiasts who were, for so long, asking for the implementation so they could deposit and withdraw BTC values more efficiently in the leading crypto exchange. What do you think of it? What's your predictions? Leave your opinion in a comment section. Also, don't forget about Daily Giveaway, where you can win 50000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a like, and leave a comment, Hashtaraluna. Things are gonna get real flashy.